Hello guys, welcome again to the another After Effects tutorial. Today I come up with a new After Effects tutorial and it's quite in, an interesting. It's a brand new uh, tutorial. So hope you will enjoy this tutorial. So uh, consider this subscribe button. So let's get started. So first of all guys, uh, this window will help you, but I'm typing and clicking. So after opening After Effects, take a new composition of 1920 by 1080, name it main and frame rate 25 and uh, duration would be 10 seconds. Hit OK, take new shape layer and uh, fill should set to be solid, stroke should set to be none. Hit OK and uh, take the uh, polygon tool from the tools panel and draw shape by holding uh, shift key select the shape layer and for center anchor point hold the uh, control key and double click on the pen behind tool now it is in the center so uh, drop down its property then content then polystar 1 polystar path 1 and change its point to 3 hit ok now guys uh, we need to reduce its size like this maybe yeah and uh, and align it now guys uh, if you don't see this option here align simply go to windows and select the align here okay now guys uh, make duplicate of it and uh, hit P for position and drag its position like here maybe yep okay now uh, select both the shape layer make duplicate of these two by holding ctrl plus T now we have shape 3 and 4 select both these and hit R for rotation and rotate it to 180 degree okay now guys uh, hit p for position and change their position like yep we did this okay now guys uh, select uh, all this shape layer and uh, hit T for opacity and uh, move forward in time by maybe uh, 15 frame and uh, add a keyframe for opacity move back on uh, 0 frame and decrease its opacity to zero so now you can see that we have really simple and nice effect okay now guys uh, close this select all this and pre-compose it and uh, name it uh, layer one hit ok Okay, now guys, uh, make duplicate of it by holding Ctrl plus G and uh, hit P for position and adjust its position like over here. Now guys, I'm moving forward this step because we don't have to wait. Okay, now guys, we have done this. So uh, select all these uh, layers and pre-compose it again and name it pattern one and hit OK. Now guys, uh, uh, go uh, move uh, back to our project window and make duplicate of pattern one by holding Control plus T 
and uh, drag it into the uh, main com uh, main composition and hit p for position and adjust its position like this again guys uh, i'm uh, moving forward this step because we don't have to wait Now guys we have done this so we have really simple and nice uh, effect so uh, we need to arrange it like uh, this So now guys we uh, you can see that okay now uh, go into the pattern one layer one and adjust their position to so uh, first we zoom it and adjust their position like this go back to the main composition and let's see now you can see that we have really simple and nice effect so guys uh, what we gonna do now uh, select all this pattern and pre-compose it again name it slide one hit ok now guys uh, bring image from your uh, computer to after effect and uh, take new composition name it image place folder hit ok and drag image into it uh, guys uh, i think we need to adjust this uh, pattern simply take new folder name it pattern hit ok and select all this pattern by holding control key and drag and drop over the uh, this folder now it is in the folder so uh, guys uh, go to main composition and drag the image placeholder into it and uh, now uh, for the uh, image placeholder go to track mat and select the alpha mat and now hit zero for rendering and let's see now as you can see that we have really simple and nice uh, looking effect for uh, image so uh, now uh, take new shape layer recompose it and name it uh, text placeholder one hit ok now go into it and take new text and uh, first uh, select the shape layer one and from the tools panel select the polygons tool and draw shape by holding a uh, shift key like this and for center anchor point select the shape layer and holding control key and uh, double click on the pen behind tool now it is in the center drop down its property go to polystar one polystar path one and change its back to three and uh, select shape layer one hit r for rotation and uh, change its position uh, rotation to 90. now guys uh, double click on uh, text and write whatever you want to and uh, drag its position over here now now guys we need to animate the text drop down its property go to animate select the opacity then go to add property and select the position decrease its opacity to zero and uh, uh, change its y-axis position to like this 
drop down the, the uh, range selector one move back on uh, zero frame add keyframe here for start move forward uh, by one second or maybe uh, half second and increase its uh, start value to 100 now guys uh, you can see that we have really nice and simple uh, text animation so uh, guys uh, close these properties and drag the uh, text to one second or maybe a uh, half second yep okay now go back to the main uh, composition and uh, duplicate the text placeholder one by holding ctrl plus d and drag it uh, into the uh, uh, project window now uh, go into it and uh, first we uh, change the color of shape layer go to fill and change its color to like this maybe yep double click on it and change the font try angle and drag its position over the one second now then now select the uh, text placeholder two and drag its position like over here yep and select the text placeholder one and drag its position like there maybe now you can see that we have really nice and simple effect okay now guys um, make duplicate of slide one two time now we have slide two and slide three drag the slide two uh, over the text place uh, text placeholder one and drag the slide three over the text placeholder two okay first we disable the slide three and click on a uh, slide two and uh, decrease its value to sorry its position to like this and drag over the uh, text placeholder one okay now uh, go to the uh, uh, track mat for the text placeholder one and select the alpha mat and uh, now uh, enable the uh, slide three and uh, adjust its size for our text placeholder two yep and go to text play, uh, track mat for the text placeholder two and select the alpha mat now you can see that we have a really nice and simple uh, slide show now guys uh, select these four composition and move forward on uh, one second and uh, then select again these two and move forward by five frame now guys go to search and effect first we go to window and select uh, effects and presets sorry and uh, search the blinds and drag and drop over the uh, slide tool now guys uh, select the slide tool and increase its uh, transition completion like maybe 15 and change its angle like this increase its uh, so uh, yes increase its width by 35 and uh, increase its feather by 5 or maybe 7 yep okay now guys uh, 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 copy this uh, vanity in blind by holding ctrl plus c and paste uh, over the uh, slide 3 by holding ctrl plus v 
now guys uh, hit zero for rendering and let's see you can see that guys we have really nice and simple uh, uh, slideshow so uh, now guys uh, select the image placeholder hit s for scale move back on zero frame add keyframe here move forward by uh, uh, five, uh, five, five second and increase its scale by uh, 10% I mean 110 and uh, go to again effects and presets and uh, search hue and saturation and drop over the image placeholder uh, guys it's optional if you want to do that uh, it's optional it's uh, depend on you if you want to uh, adjust its color so now hit zero and let's see now guys you can see that we have really simple and nice effect hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial subscribe and like my channel so uh, bye for the next video thank you guys